Hey, good morning, everybody. It's mornings LA late. Well, early mornings, actually. As the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and the bill is finally here. Yes. The third stimulus package bill is working its way through the subcommittees of the House of Representatives and will be passed next week. It will then land in the Senate and get passed there next week as well, and could land on President Biden's table by the end of the week to become law. Suddenly everything is going very quickly, but is there a plan B? Yes, there is, and in this video I explain how plan A or plan B are working side by side. I explain the rowdy times and everything that's at play to get you stimulus as quickly as possible. This is a great morning's recording of Early Mornings LA Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning. It's LLA. The toast is toasting. The butter is buttery. And I'm here. You're here getting ready to crush the week as the week nears an end and the end is in sight to finally get the third stimulus to a law. Why? Because it's currently in subcommittees of the House of Representatives where they're working on the final words, language, and numbers of the third stimulus package law bill to make it a law. And what are they and how they're going to do this? I go over that in this video. This is part two of a double header this morning. I come back at 6.30 on the continuation of Early Morning to LA and I explain what are the items and how we need to push to get a modification of the words and numbers in the third stimulus package. But first, subscribe. Subscribe to this channel because no one is making things clear and more in depth 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is a 24 hour news channel now of programming shows from 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. the next day. A block of shows all throughout the day helping you get big money with insight that you're not gonna hear anywhere else and incredible details. So please subscribe. The subscribe button, the subscribe link is in the description and also in the pinned comment. So like this video and consider becoming a member Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. The membership link is in this video as well, in the description and also in the pinned comment and also at the top of the chat. Members have exclusive access to chats and also have exclusive access to data and documents to get information about what's in the third stimulus package before anyone else. To get that application ripe and ready to pounce as a Purple Hawk before anyone else. So consider becoming a member. And over there is an instant premiere. As an instant premiere, you can chat with your Purple Power buddies and interact and talk about what you expect through the new day, especially when it comes to stimulus. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start the new morning is that Chuck Schumer, the majority head of the Senate, does confirm the same as Nancy, that a vote will happen next week. Let me recap. Yesterday I told you that Nancy Pelosi, the head of the House of Representatives, confirmed that a vote in the House would come early next week. But yesterday, Chuck Schumer then confirmed the same for the Senate. This is really incredible great news because it basically says that we could see a possible law by the end of next week. So where are we right now? What's going on? What are the tracking times? What is the routing times? When can you see the money? And is there a plan B? Yes, there is. All right, let's get to plan A, first of all, the bill. And where is it and what is going on with it? The bill is currently in the subcommittees of the House of Representatives. Those subcommittees are divided by topic, business or housing or labor. And they're going over the part of the bill that concerns their subcommittee, like business, for example. They're looking at the language, the eligibility, the numbers, who gets it, how it gets it, how you get it, and who should get it, and how much. They're going to finalize their decision on that language and numbers by tomorrow. Nancy Pelosi has put a deadline of tomorrow to get this done, and that, by all accounts, means that, hey... If you want to have a say in the words and modification, now is the time to be spoken. Otherwise, you won't be heard. In the video after this, I go over the importance of really stepping up 
family members of this channel, Purple Power, to be heard and get modifications now because you only got about a 24-hour window. Meantime, that's plan A. Get it to the finalization of subcommittees by tomorrow, Friday, and then call it for a vote in the House of Representatives early next week. And then it would pass and go to the House Senate and call it for a vote there and get that passed also next week. Now, if you don't recall, Mitch McConnell is no longer the majority head of the Senate. It's now Chuck Schumer, Democrat. And as the Democrat head, he calls and calls the shot as to scheduling. He determines the schedule of which bills are called for vote. And if he wants a bill called for vote, the bills call for vote. So as soon as Nancy passes it in her house, Mitch, excuse me, Chuck would call for a vote in the Senate. And then it goes to the president to sign. Also to make very clear, any tiebreaker is broken by VP Harris. She's the president of the Senate. So as the president of the Senate, she gets to vote as well to break any tiebreaker. Very simple. All right, so then that's that. Well, what about this plan B and what is plan B? Plan B is a item that is a little bit peculiar. Let me explain what's going on with it. The federal government has to do another budget bill again. Yeah, another one of those budget bills. It's plan B. But they can, if they wish to, insert some stimulus in it. Just not a lot of stimulus. They can insert a stimulus check, but nothing much more. So while you hear me talk about 22 items in the third stimulus package, well, they can't put 32 items or 22 items or 12 items into a budget bill. And so plan B is not particularly attractive to some people, including myself. But plan B is going forward. Plan B is to put stimulus into a budget bill in the event there's some problem with plan A, which doesn't seem to be happening. But yesterday, a lot of political leaders spoke about Plan B and spoke about the importance of getting Plan B going in case Plan A falls apart. Senator Joe Manchin, I will guarantee you, I will sit down with my Republican friends and find a pathway forward, referring to Plan A. Let me try first. But Bernie Sanders said, I don't know if we should be even talking about Plan B. We won the Senate, and now it's time to do what we got to do. People can talk to whoever they want to talk to, but this country faces enormous crisis, says Bernie Sanders, chair of the Budget Committee, who actually deals with budget issues like Plan B. Elections have consequences. We're in the majority. We got to act. We won. It's now our turn. <laughs> Thank you, Bernie. Very well said. He basically said, hey, we won. Either do it our way or not our whole way. <laughs> Very clear. Uh, then Josh Gothenheimer, Democrat of New Jersey, part of that Problems Creators uh, group, uh, says that they thought it was impossible. I don't think they would be wasting their time. The first mission is to find a bipartisan way forward. Well, that first mission has been going on for over a week. Joe Biden has been having Zoom chats with members of Congress, you know, six to 12 at a time every single day. And it's they're been fruitful. They've all been polite. They've all been respectful, respectful and responsive but they don't show any progress or any movement or any urgency. So that's why Purple Power stepped up two days ago saying, okay, you can Zoom as much as you want to Zoom, but you got to Zoom this bill through the House and get it to the Senate. What are you doing here? That's what Bernie Sanders said as well. And that fire you Purple Power put under the feet of congressional leaders were, because now it is Zooming. Nancy Pelosi confirms that the bill is fast-tracked, meaning the bill will go fast. <laughs> she is not waiting for someone to Zoom her anytime soon. Uh, but the the question is, what is going on with this reconciliation plan B? Some people think that they should still do a reconsideration. Uh, and Senate Democrats have called on a vote on the budget bill as early as next week. But others say that the reconciliation, the plan B, is really just not a good idea. We're always hopeful some of this will see the light. And remember, even on reconciliation, Republicans would join us, says Chuck Schumer. But Senator Majority Whip Dick Durbin says, I hope it doesn't lead to plan B. Um, in the past, Republicans have had to change some of the rules relative to reconciliation to accommodate their legislative efforts. In other words, I see problems with plan B. Just stay with the bell. What are you doing here? And then there's Senator Todd Young, who's a Democrat, uh, who's a Republican out of Indiana, says, we need to have some measure of consensus. Some Republicans believe it doesn't look good to not have an agreement on a stimulus bill to basically turn this into a partisan debate again. They don't, just don't think it looks good. Um, but 
the, there was a broad agreement that reconciliation is not the preferred approach. Said actually a Republican yesterday, Dusty Johnson. He says, I don't particularly think that a reconciliation is the correct approach. And he says that there's a widespread agreement upon it. I agree with him. Should not do reconciliation. Why? Because Plan B doesn't allow you to have a lot of stimulus in it. Just this amount of stimulus, which is not sufficient. I'm not sure this is the smartest thing to do, says John Yarmuth, Democrat of Kentucky. But for now, the Democrats are doing both Plan A and Plan B. Yes. So they are mirroring the two at the same time. In the event that Plan A falls apart, they have Plan B going forward. Now, I don't like Plan B, and others don't like it as well. But the good news is that they understand the time is of the essence. The way that Plan B works is they got to get it going. Otherwise, it can never start. So as you start the new morning, what's going on next? What's going on next are some of your comments in today, yesterday's video. There were over 2,000 of them. Great questions and comments about what's going on with the current path and how soon you can see the stimulus. Now, understand that if this did become law by the end of next week, you could see a stimulus check as no less, you know, at least 10 days thereafter. So this is getting very quick and very exciting. Let me answer some of your credible questions from yesterday from both members and non-members. If you have a question, drop them in the comments below. I might feature them at tomorrow's recording. Robin Parrish. No, we need it now. U.S. Americans have waited long enough. Do it now. Similar comment was expressed by a lot of viewers yesterday. Why three days? Why seven days? How about one day? Amber Shannon, I really wish politicians would stop acting like they, we are chimneys and stop blowing smoke up our... <clears throat> Edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Tichonte, is this more talk and no action? Hmm, we will see. Poke Pelosi for two. Pelosi sounds like a broken record. We shall see. Hmm. Tarina Gushi, uh huh, next week. Okay, here comes February. We need help yesterday. I love that comment. Margaret Harris. Man, I wish they'd get their butts in gear with this new stimulus. It's like when it rains, it pours. Now my fridge has gone out and I have no idea what to do in all. I got to laugh because there's no more tears or Xanax left. <clears throat> Darn, there's no more Xanax left. Candy Smith. Please, please, Lord, don't let this be another week, next week, next week. Till then, we just give up. Robin Esom. Good morning, Purple Power family, and hopefully everyone's staying safe and prosperous from Tennessee. Uh, James Lurch. They're afraid of raising taxes. We'll raise the price of goods. Excuse my prices are going up anyway. Expel seditions, seditionists in Congress immediately. Uh, we've waited far too long, and many are still homeless and on the street. It's winter, you know, politicians. Luann Moore, all politicians are the same, promise the sun, moon, and stars to get elected. Bon Bell, with only $1,800 over the last 10 months, this is not enough. $2,000 monthly survival check, we've waited too long. Social Security increase and a $200 boost. They usually have forgotten most security, Social Security is below the poverty level. Kibi Johnson, good morning, Purple Power family. Let's get our hearts and get this started. Thank you for that nice comment. Teresa Martinez, we need it sooner. They need to get it done already. Shady Whitley, but I've been here with LA for months. Nine months. Shady Whitley, good morning, Purple Power family. Great job, LA. Have a blessed day. Shady Sandy here from North Carolina. Sorry, I butchered that earlier. Sandy. <laughs> Thank you for Sandy for North Carolina. Well, if you have comments or questions in today's video, drop them in the comments below. I might feature them in tomorrow's recording. And so there you see where we sort of are at the moment. You know, it's sort of a, it's sort of a mixed bag, you know. Um, the, 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 the progress is that you've gotten them to get their butts moving, as the one viewer said. They've gotten their butts moving. Um, and that ultimately you will get this vote. You'll get this vote in the House next week, and then the Senate shortly that a few days thereafter, or the day after in the, in the House. And then it could be on the President's table by the end of the week. But what is it? We know it's a bill, but what's in the bill? In the video after this, I go over what's in the bill. There's a lot of provisions in there that are great. There's some provisions that are in there good. There's some provisions in there that have the wrong numbers. And there's some provisions that are missing. You got to tune in for that one. That's a continuation of Early Mornings LA. When I go into detail about what's in 
what's actually in the third stimulus package, and what's not but belongs in there. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, like this video. Before this video on Overnight to LA was EIDL. Please watch that video. It's very helpful to explain to you how to get business grants because I know a lot of you want business grants. Watch that video. And also before this video was unemployment. Coming up next at 6.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time is a continuation of Early Mornings LA when we go through the bill itself. Stay informed, stay focused, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Or blog, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The link is in the description and also in the pinned comment. Stay informed, stay focused, stay smiling, and save our life for more.